Well, something kind of cool is going to be happening in the astronomy area over the next few days. Take a look at that planet you see in the background there. That's Jupiter. It's the largest planet in our solar system. Well, we consider a gas giant since it's made up, obviously, of mainly gas. You see that telltale uh, storm that occurs across the southern hemisphere of the planet there. Now, if they were interested in about Jupiter now, it's going to be in opposition. Now, all this means is that it's going to be exactly on the line between the Earth and the Sun. That's going to occur on Monday night, but will be quite bright over the next month or so. Now, you won't be able to see Jupiter and even four of its largest moons with just a pair of binoculars. You're not going to need a telescope. But if you do have a telescope, you'll be able to see the bands of the clouds around the planet if it's a good one. So something to look forward to there. And the good thing is it'll be visible just about all night, right in the southeastern sky, right around sunset, which occurs shortly before 9 this time of year, then set in the uh, west around sunrise. Now, the obvious question there is, you're going to be able to see it? You've got to look at cloud cover for that, obviously. This is for Sunday night. That looks pretty good there. You can see most of the uh, state looking mostly clear. A few more clouds across the northwest, though. Even there, you should see a glimpse of it. Opposition actually occurs on Monday night, though. Looking at that, not quite as optimistic here, unfortunately. You can see many, much of the area partly to mostly cloudy. Best chance of seeing it this night, the further south you go, looks like better conditions you'll have. Something cool going on there if you're into astronomy.